What's going on, basketball world? YouTube. Hey guys, it was a good finals. A great playoff. I was really happy for the Boston Celtics in Game 5. I felt that Jason Tatum finally answered the call. He came out aggressive. We've been waiting for this Jason Tatum ever since he dunked on LeBron. I think it was in 2018. We've been calling for Jason Tatum to put his foot on the gas. And he did that tonight. He came out. And establish the tone. Brown has been playing hard. All playoffs. He played hard tonight. I know Jason Tatum and Brown don't like to hear this. But tonight they look like a young Michael Jordan. And a young Scottie Pippen. With Jason Tatum looking like Michael Jordan. And Brown looking like a young Pippen. On defense and offense. You know, Brown has came a long way, actually. Brown was always more athletic than Jason. But Brown's offensive game has stepped up a lot. Thus, bringing them to tonight to become NBA champions. I feel like the Celtics need to run it back. I don't think that they should make any trades. I think the team is fine as is. They've been at this for about six seasons now, and they finally got it right. I feel like Brown has more room for growth. I don't think he's reached his full potential. The upside with the Celtics is that they have a great rotation, and it looks like everybody likes playing with each other on the court. They have a great big man rotation with Porzingis. They have Drew Holiday. They got White. They have a great rotation. They can go small. They can go big. They can mix and match. I don't see any way they can make this team any better next season. Obviously... You want to get the role players and the younger guys to, you know, get ready. But I think this team should run it back. I think the Celtics need to run this back. I feel that they were number one the entire season for a reason. I feel like this is actually the beginning of a dynasty for the Boston Celtics. I like the fact that they wasn't really relying on hero basketball. They played as a unit, and that's what basketball is, a unit. Another thing that I want to let you guys know about the Boston Celtics is that they play defense. And as I tell people all the time, a great defense beats a great offense. So remember that. Defense always beats offense, and you can see that tonight against the Dallas Mavericks, where Dallas has arguably the best offensive backcourt in the NBA. That backcourt met the best wing duo on defense in Tatum and Brown. So remember, guys, a good defense always beats a good, good offense. I feel like the Celtics management got it right. And I want to see next season if they could repeat. I know they'll be back in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's a bet. And it was just a great game. I mean... Dude pulled up from half court, hit the shot. The crowd was into it. It was just a really good NBA classic. So if you missed the game tonight, you guys want to watch the rerun on YouTube. It was definitely NBA classic. 
I'm happy for Jason Tatum because he hears a lot from the haters and, you know, they say he needs to step up. He needs to do this. He needs to do that. But tonight, he really, really, really answered the call at 26, 27. So if Jason Tatum continues to play like this and Brown continues to get better, Porzingis can stay healthy. You got shot makers on the team. This Boston team is going to be back next year. So that's my video, guys. Congratulations to Boston Nation, Celtic Nation. You guys finally got it done. And uh, this is my video. This is my take on the whole situation. This video is for the Celtics management. Run it back, baby. Anyways, guys, this is Mike. This is Time for Change, the sports edition. This was the coverage for the NBA Finals. And we're going to cover hockey with the Florida Panthers next. But, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Check out all my other videos. You know, add me up. Subscribe if you like what I'm talking about. Tell a friend to tell a friend that's going to tell a friend. Hey, guys, I'm out. Peace. Peace.